Welcome. I'm thrilled that you've joined me on numerologist.com. I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm here with this week's angel messages. So our messages this week are about self-care. How are you caring for yourself? Your angels want you to know it's important for you to care for yourself, to look after yourself. So with that in mind, bring your hands to your heart, just like angel wings. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two, or three, a message that comes from their heart to yours. What you can also do is invite them to guide you as you move your cursor along to a place in the video where you intuitively feel it's time to stop and right there is another message for you from your angels. All right. So we have three cards, three different cards from three different decks. Okay, so which one is your card? First one, number one, I feel like it's this one. Okay, so the first one is send, surrender and release. Surrender and release. So self-care, your angels are saying there's something that you need to let go of. Now, when I look at this, image there's a bottle and it's green it's like the heart and then there's water that's coming out of that bottle that water is emotion so it's letting go of something emotional from from the heart and when you think about it this angel this being it's holding that vase and it's got to be really heavy and that's the same for you for your heart there's something really heavy that's on your heart right now. And it doesn't necessarily have to be something negative. It could be that you're just holding something, maybe a pattern, maybe a thought, maybe a, a something from your past. Maybe it's that you're holding energy for somebody else. Maybe you're holding energy for the world. And now it's time to release that, let that go. So I said thoughts, those thoughts are also connected to your emotions. So there's some emotion, that is just moving around your heart there, stuck in your heart, connected to your heart, time to let it go. I feel that your angels, especially Archangel Raphael, is going to support you. And there's almost a sense here of rebuilding. I feel like there's some kind of rebuilding that's going to happen for you as well. So as you let go, as you release, you create a space and then there's something new can come in and that's part of that rebuilding. So this could be about relationships as well, letting go of a relationship or letting go of something that's around a relationship now or from the past. Okay, self-care. So it's about you looking after you. All right, number two, which card? Ooh, I'm feeling like it's this one. I'm feeling like it's a, from the Archangel Gabriel deck. This is gratitude. So it's gratitude. So it's kind of an interesting image because it doesn't necessarily say that there's gratitude in that image but it is a, an angel that might be kind of bowing down and being thankful and grateful for something it says you attract more blessings when you appreciate your current blessings and that's part of that self-care it's looking around you at what you have the blessings that are in your life your body this amazing body that you have this amazing life that you have this opportunity to live at this time on this amazing planet, in this dimension, with everything that's happening in the world, you're part of the change. So I feel that there's a blessing that comes from that, there's gratitude from that as well. And just as the card said, just as the message said, as you're grateful, that gratitude attracts more to you, it attracts more blessings too, because you're telling the universe, I'm really happy. I'm a really joyful person. I'm really, sustained by everything that I have. And the universe says, oh great, you know, I'm gonna send you some more of that because you're really enjoying it, you really love it. If somebody says to you, if you cook them a meal and they said, wow, that was so delicious, that was so wonderful, then they say to you, would you like some more? <laughs> but when you say, oh, that was really horrible, they're not gonna ask you if you want any more, all right? So it's just that, grateful, gratitude, have an attitude of gratitude for more energy to come in. And again, this is about self-care, looking after yourself. Your angels are saying that energy of gratitude really fills every level of your being with the most beautiful light. And that's what they want 
they want you to do. That's what they want for you right now. So a final card is reward yourself. Yay. <laughs> I love this. It's such a lovely little image, isn't it? Reward yourself. So you've been giving a lot of yourself lately. So when you give a lot of yourself, what happens for you? There's no self-care for you, is there? And it's time for you to receive. Be open to receive. I see pink and green. Uh, violet in people's energy fields when they're opening up to receive so this is a perfect color of course there's green right there as well for your heart right make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way this balance is giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy mood and motivation in a consistently high level at a consistently high level and that's true because as you give so you receive if you give 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 and you're not open to receive 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 then there's no balance, is there? Everything's out of balance. And then it's almost like if you imagine that you're giving all the water in your body, all that water in your body, water in your body, and then finally you're all dried up. There's nothing else to give. So it's important for you to receive back so that then <clears throat> it's like nourishment for you, nurturing for you, love for you. So open up to receive. I feel like there's another message here. You know, this little angel has a shell and that shell is listening to your own heart. What is it your heart needs and wants at this moment? And I feel that your angels are saying, you deserve it. Ask for it. It's time to reward yourself. Ask for whatever it is your heart desires at this moment. And they will send you either all of it or a stepping stone to get you that reward. Okay, that's it for this week's angel messages. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments below if the messages resonated for you. And of course, remember to subscribe to the numerologist channel. There's wonderful goodies there for you. I know they'll support you. I will see you next week. Lots of angel blessings to you. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye.